notifications keep coming through like seven times for the same thing so yeah, that's what we're doing it's snowing out and it's cold talk about bad lighting oh my god we made it to the mall we're underground parking because it's cold out um but yeah wish us luck we're gonna go see if we can get our phone 12 seconds later. We are now on our way to another mall, Cross Iron Mills. I got the phone, but I don't physically have the phone, so we have to pick up the phone. Um, I'm a little frustrated, because every time I get something new, it's just never really, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I'll get it eventually, but I don't know, it's annoying. Anyway, that's what we're gonna go do. Pray to God himself that we get it without hiccup, you know? We're gonna do that, and then hopefully get a case, but We'll see. I've had uh, bad luck, so yeah. My hair is gross, it needs to be washed, but cross iron, off we go. We're at the famous Cross Iron Mills Mall. We have to go in these doors. Hey! You get whiplash. If I had a dollar for every time Tyler aggressively took, Jesus, turned a corner, I'd literally be rich now. We must find a place to park. Oh, look at that right there. Front and frickin' center almost. Off we go to the mall. Second mall of the day. Then hopefully somebody here has a case because I don't wanna have to go, go all over Timbuktu, you know? So, wish us luck. Oh my God, you guys, it's packed more solid than a sardine can. I got it, the iPhone, what is this, the 12? And it's in purple, cause that's all I had. Now we're gonna go find a case, and this mall is packed like a sardine can. So, that's where we're off to now. Right, babe? Yeah. Yeah, so, Best Buy, here we come. One eternity later. We're back, back in the car. Um, we're on our way to Walmart, I ended up Getting the phone, getting the case. Um, the case doesn't fit, so I'm gonna take it back to Best Buy. Other than that, the phone works okay. Took a long time to get it set up. I moved from Belle the Virgin, <sighs> but we have service. And I gave Tyler a haircut and a beard trim. Mm. So we're... Mm. You act like you didn't just sleep for 10 hours. I didn't. <laughs> you did. <laughs> And tonight we're gonna do face masks. So I'll show that. We're home now. Um, I'm gonna clean up all this garbage and mess. And then make some supper. Cleaning and supper time. <laughs> we got cheese sauce and broccoli, ribs wrapped up in there, and potato scallop, oh, potato. I'm excited. Okay, um, this towel situation, I'm not too sure. I don't know, I don't like it hanging, but it's like meant to like not hang. So, we're just gonna go with it. There we go. You only need like the tiniest bit. Like I'm still on my first bottle of this. All you do is take a tiny bit, like the tiniest bit, and put it, where you need it. I don't know. I'm gonna put it all over. But it needs to be like an opaque layer. It doesn't need to be super thick. Like it says like on the instructions as long as it's like pink and translucent. That's all you need. Oh my god. I put it on liquid blush the other day and Tyler's like, why are you doing your face mask right now? <laughs> I'm like, no, it's my liquid blush. And then we time that for 10 minutes. Okay, so, <laughs> we're gonna do Tyler's, but like obviously we're not gonna do his beard or anything, we're just gonna do his T-zone. Okay. 
<laughs> so messy. I feel like it down this level. <laughs> burn? No. Okay. So basically what it does is like peels off like the first layer of your skin. <laughs> That's like the easiest way to tone it down. But yeah, we'll show you our face in like 10 minutes. We just rinse that off and we're gonna do the rest of our skincare. But before I show you what I do, I'll show you what I'm gonna do for Tyler. You can't just like throw it on and then the next day go out in the sun. You have to wear SPF. And I make Tyler wear the Aveeno SPF 30? 50? 50. SPF 50. Next, we're going to do the Ordinary Glycolic Acid, which I will probably put a Sephora link for because that's where I got it. A little bit on a cotton pad. And then just rub all over your face. Same thing, just a little droppy drop. What? <laughs> I just cut his hair. What do you think? I think it looks. Oh, so my eyeball! <laughs> I think it looks so good. And his beard's a little shorter. I just can't like at this angle do it properly. The ordinary hyaluronic acid. Just because it might be like that red mask might be a little bit irritating for him, but he wouldn't know if he didn't have this stuff on. You know, looks like soap at first. That it? Yeah. <laughs> For me, I'm gonna do the ordinary caffeine solution just under my eyes. Um, I don't really know if this actually works to be honest, but I feel like it does. So just a tiny bit, and then rub that in. It's supposed to help with like, I don't know, dehydration. Doesn't caffeine dehydrate you? I don't know. The niacinamide. But if you have like really sensitive skin, just do hyaluronic acid. Only because that mask is a lot, but my skin's been like multi exfoliated multiple times. I don't know if I want to say this out loud. I had microdermabrasion done in the same day that had a chemical peel done. My poor skin was crying by the end of that day. That was about eight years ago. Next, hyaluronic acid, just a little bit. Rub that on. Kind of feels a little soapy again, but it works. Last step, I'll just do my Laneige lip mask, which I think I even showed actually at the beginning of one of these videos. My lips are dry. So, like where I have all this redness and stuff and like all these acne scars, that mask eventually over time will help with that. I noticed we're going to Tyler, but mine are just a little bit more, I don't know, what do you call it? Irritated? I don't know. Anyway. That is that. If you know anybody that can get you that mask across the border, like you could order it in Canada, but it's just really expensive. I think it's like 30 when you can literally go to the States and get it for seven. But if you know anybody that goes to the States and can get you that, do that because it's cheaper. I think we will end this vlog here. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, we look like grannies. I don't know if I like this hair towel. I don't actually know if it's doing anything. I don't know. We'll see. It's a pain in my ass. That's all I know. I'm gonna go watch Blind Spot. If you haven't watched Blind Spot yet, watch it. We were a little bit skeptical and we really like it. If we would have thought about it sooner, you know, like in August when we were sick, <coughs> we would watch it then and been done. But like, I don't know. That's it that is all i will see you guys in the next vlog i'll probably edit this tomorrow and then go from there but yeah say bye <laughs> bye